guys, this is Jennifer with Stickers by Jennifer. Welcome to the channel. <clears throat> if you haven't already, please click the like button below. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel so you can get future updates on how to make stickers and all things stickers. So today, since the it's uh, like 7 o'clock in the morning on a Friday. Oh God, it's Friday the 13th. I hate Friday the 13th. Just superstitious. But anyways, um... Hope everything goes right today. Um, today I wanted to make um, some stickers and they're going to be uh, script stickers. And so today we're going to pick a font and we're going to use some clip art to make those stickers. So the first thing is what kind of script stickers do I want to make? Some type of, um, it's back to school month. So I'm going to make some school shopping reminder stickers and hmm, like get school supplies and, um, hmm. I'm just going to make some stuff up. <laughs> oh, and um, maybe, oh, okay, yes. Some stickers. This is really impromptu. I'm just doing this on the fly because my kids are asleep. <laughs> so I was like, I really want to make a video, but it's so hard to do when my two-year-old is up. And she sleep, so I'm going to make a quick video. So I do a lot of Instacart shopping. So I want to make some Instacart um, reminder stickers so that I know to re put in my planner to do my Instacart order because I'll forget to do my Instacart order and do it last minute and it just becomes this whole big thing. So I'm going to do that. And the first thing I want to do is look for a font. And this font, this little crafty bundle here just keeps, keeps standing out. And it's really cute the little fonts that come with it so which font do I want to use I'm at creative fabrica um let's go with rainy shine so what I'm gonna do is play with this text here so let's see school supplies Eh, let's try a different one because I don't know. <laughs> this is cute, but I keep using the same type of font, so I'm trying to switch it up a little bit, you know. Um, kids, stay. This is nice. Let's see. Let's test this one. Oh, okay. This is kind of layered. No. <laughs> Um, let's go with lemon squash. I think this is the one. This is the one. School supplies. It's not the one. <laughs> okay. These are so cute, but I think that I probably would use most of these fonts on uh, my others by second shop where I do the t-shirt the t-shirt transfers crocodile the croca what <laughs> okay um, that's a cute name it's different let's see I can't test this font out no and while I was doing that I oh my goodness into the wild um I'm gonna just <laughs> and then let's see skinny flower I don't know why it seems like I already had that one and look how I just drifted off and this is a thing like with fonts 
what fonts it's like this is it this is the one I'm gonna choose this font like there's so many options on and I already own this file so I probably already installed it there's so many options on Creative Fabrica that it gets really hard to choose so I think I've already used this font before and I don't know if I want to do cursive maybe I do so with this I'm gonna do some foils and then I'm gonna do just colored ones I think maybe I'll just go ahead and use magical okay so finally after all that now let's go to get some clip art and let's see school clip art and I just want something that gives me a reminder that I need to go get some school supplies so let's see um, it's giving me I'm gonna choose between this one and this one <laughs> should I do any me money mo now no oh my goodness this is beautiful I like that stack of books okay um, I'm gonna go with this one because my favorite color is blue so I'm gonna get this and then I need clip art for grocery shopping let's see sure let's see how do you spell groceries Jeez. clip art Groceries, clip art. Um, I need something that giving me bag of groceries. Um, hmm. Look, it's getting closer. It's getting closer. Um, I could just pick anything, but for this because I'm actually after I finish making this video I'm probably gonna put the designs that I make in the shop so let's see let's try this grocery shopping that little cart right there that little cart right there is mm, probably gonna be the one I choose but I just want to look because um, maybe I could use an icon um, let's see and the shopping basket full of products this is going to be my instacart now I have everything I need so this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to the first thing I'm gonna open is the creative cloud desktop and I'm gonna upload my fonts to here let's see how do I I forget how to do this all the time it's just like really crazy manage fonts how do you upload your own font Okay, I'm gonna have to take a break and come back. All right, I'm back. I'm sorry. Um, what happened was, I guess something changed in Adobe Creative Cloud where I can't upload fonts, but that doesn't stop me. I downloaded FontBase. <laughs> okay, so when you download FontBase, it's a free font manager and it's for Windows. So what I did was I went ahead and uploaded and activated the skinny and magical fonts. So they're already ready for me to use in Photoshop. And we're gonna go here into the template. And the image size is in inches. 
6.4 inches by 2.7 inches. I'm using the 300 DPI resolution. So let's get to it. So I'm going to make, the first thing I'm going to make is school supplies. So school, I'm already in the magical font. Supplies. And I want to change that to the skinny. And I want to do it like this. Just a little bit. And then I want to center this over. And then we picked, I picked this one because my favorite color is blue. But what's really standing out to me is the book bag. The book bag will help me remember to get school supplies. So I'm going to go and put that in. I wanted to have like some kind of icon to go with the school supplies situation I got going on here. So now I need to make my border to go around this, the white border. And what I'm going to do is Can I do the Reese? Yes. So I did that and now I'm going to merge the layers. So now it's all one layer. It's all one layer. So now I can do my blending options and I want to go to the stroke and it's going to be in the outside part. So now you see that I've done the stroke. I did can I do 15 that looks okay all right the way to check to see if it's doing things correctly is if you have a whack a black border on your layer well black background on your layer so that looks mm, I can still see like little holes there and things like that so um Let's go to 18. Let's go back to 18 or 20. And just check it again. That looks good. That looks good. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to duplicate the layers to make my sheet. So let's get to it. Man, I hate it when it does that. I'm going to just resize it so it all fits. I want to try... I mean, I don't see myself doing that much school supply shopping, so that's why I'm making such a smaller sheet. But if you have kettle, you know, like four or five kettles, I just have two, and only one is in school, so school supplies would be everything, all the way down to the shoes, the clothes. Um, my daughter's school she's going to the first grade yay she, her school has like um a dress code where they can wear shirts or dresses or whatnot but there can't be any kind of wording or pictures on the shirt it needs to be just like a straight gray shirt or a straight black shirt i can't do anything on it kind of sucks but <coughs> i'm sorry it is what it is all right, it's done. It's done. So I just made the first sheet. And I'm going to do a speed through for the other sheet. But now you have an idea of how it looks. And you're just going to save. Where am I going to put this? I'm going to put it. You're going to save it as a PNG file. I'm going to call it school supplies because I got everything going on here. School supplies. That gives it a transparent background for when you upload to Cricut Design Space. 
now I'm gonna do a speed through for the next one so um, I'll see you guys when I come back to do the upload and all of that all right so I've got everything um, <clears throat> done there's are my instacart now I made a lot of these stickers because I do instacart several times a week and I do instacart because I have a two-year-old that I don't like to take into the grocery store because of the whole pandemic and whatnot so if I don't have anyone to watch her that day or if my husband is sleeping because he works the midnight shift I can't I don't want to take my daughter into the store so what I do is I order Instacart and in my opinion it's a little bit it's affordable and it, it takes away the stress so that's why I use Instacart um I am happy with these stickers so let's go ahead and go over to Cricut Design Space so I can show you how this is going to work. Alright, so there it is right there. There's my Cricut Design Space. Just waiting for it to upload. No updates this time. Woohoo! And sometimes it's really weird. Sometimes it does this. When, I, when it does this and it won't upload all my old projects, it, it's a problem. I'll have to close it out and reopen it. Sometimes it just oh irritates the soul. 
I'm gonna delete some of these projects. All right. And then I'm gonna go to a new project and I'm going to upload my Instacart, save it as, make sure you do continue as a complex image. And then I'm gonna do print and cut. Let's upload the next one which is my school supplies and I'm gonna go and upload that let's go and put select these two and put them <clears throat> onto the canvas and as you can see here they come out really big so you want to resize them as the size we started with which was 6.4 width 2.7 width and this one, 6.4 by 2.7. Now the great thing about this, because the size I chose to make my sticker, I can duplicate this three times and make one sheet. I really don't need that many stickers for that. But then again, I probably do a giveaway or something. This one, you can do the same thing. And when I do this, <clears throat> I just click attach. You can click flatten, but I click attach just because. Now we're gonna go over to make, and it should give me two sheets. A sheet full of Instacart stickers and a sheet full of school supplies. So now I'm going to go and cut my stickers and I'll show you what they look like after it's done and cut with my um, webcam and all right, that's pretty much it. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I will leave these templates that I just made um, up in my blog and I'll leave a link to the blog where you can just download those stickers and make them yourself with your Cricut machine or your silhouette. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being patient with me. Um, sales are going up in my shop, my website and my Etsy shop. So that's why I haven't been making videos. Plus it's hard to do that with my two year old. She requires a lot of attention and I'm trying to teach her how to talk, use a potty and all that stuff. So, um, I, thank you guys so much for watching. I will try to upload another video as soon as I can. Hopefully it won't be too long. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.